is up guys welcome back to the freaking channel walking on water in today's episode we are on the washington side of the columbia river in a small lake which is an offshoot of the columbia river called drano lake otherwise known as the toilet bowl where you it's just mad chaos for spring chinook now we had 119 spring chinook come over the dam the day prior i haven't checked the count yet it posts at 6 a.m and it's a little bit before that so stay tuned for the fish count and stay tuned for a lot of big springer action hopefully today we're running 360 flashers prawn rigs and brad's super baits and simon super baits and we're just gonna go up here to the toilet bowl now we're on the water wind's whipping pretty good so i hope you can hear me all right we're at 25 feet of water marking fish down right there so i'm gonna get a line in the water stay tuned guys hope we go out and bonk a big old fucking spree chinook today well guys it's been a long time coming to get down here on the Columbia River to fish for freaking Spring Chinook. It's been, like I said, I mean, I fished Spring Chinook last year in Wenatchee, more so Summer Chinook, and then obviously on Lake Coeur d'Alene, but I haven't fished the Columbia River since I was a kid. And it just feels so good to be back down here. And I hope we can get on a fish for you guys. Freaking, we're running some pretty good setups. I'm pretty confident in these setups and they've worked for a lot of people over the years, so it should be a freaking good time. Um, the fish count numbers are honestly pretty low, so it's gonna kind of be few and far between. It's not gonna be like the days where 2,000 are coming over Bonneville Dam. Um, we had 119 come over the day before yesterday. Still waiting on the dam count from yesterday. We're hoping it's in the, at least doubled again. Hopefully it doubled again. That would be freaking big news. Because we got today and we also got tomorrow. But on Drano Lake, at this time of year, the wind whipped up. At Drano Lake, at this time of year, you can only run one rod until May 1st. And unfortunately, it's the 21st of April, so we're out here and we're running one rod, which is fine. We're gonna go up and get in the toilet bowl and see how we do. Hopefully nobody runs into me and crushes me today. So that'd be a win in itself. <laughs> Haven't updated the dam counts yet. Oh, did you, were they catching out here yesterday pretty good? Oh. Yeah, I was down at Wind River yesterday. A bunch of guys were down there for like an hour, and then they all like got oh, them out. So I think they, I think a few of them came here. I drove by it on the way back and saw people fishing early afternoon yesterday. Oh, really? This year, huh? Yeah. Nice. Congratulations. That's awesome. Yeah, it does. I was in a smaller one last year, and it's pretty chaotic, honestly. Well, so most of the time, I'm Drano Lake's like obviously one rod, right? So I mean, till May, and with two, it comes across here, and you're trying to kind of a nightmare. <laughs> That's why I film it so I can laugh at myself later. <laughs> on baby Woo! let's go fish on Oh, it's coming right at you guys, sorry. It's coming right at you. Oh no. I think I'm on your line. Can you put it, can you spool it, spool it, spool it, spool it?
I got your line in my motor, bro. I'm so sorry. Then I just bit my glove off of my reel and it won't reel. There we go. Holy crap. We got line. We still got the fish, thank God. Bit my glove off in the frickin' reel and it wouldn't reel. Oh my gosh. Just go in the circles. I just don't need help. I don't think I'm ever gonna get it going in fucking circles. We can go over there and try that for you. Might not be a bad idea. guys Woo! let's go fuck I'm so sorry guys I got your fucking shit so tangled thank you make sure it's legal Yep. If you want, if you tie off my boat, we can actually sort it out. Okay. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, I did. I saw a fish hit my, my flasher when it first came. Yeah. It was around the surface. Fuck, dude. That was close. No. Thank you guys so freaking much. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm glad we got it for real. <laughs> yeah, you, you guys made it all happen. If it wasn't for you guys, seriously, you some know people would have been like, right dude, dude, like, oh, who's this? Yeah, it's, it's kind of annoying. Not a lot of people are like that. It's just it's amazing. Yeah. Of course, the asshole out here in the fucking little 
boat. Yeah. All right. Well, congratulations. Thank you guys. Yeah. Well, I'm cool, by the way. Nice Thanks. You. Appreciate it. You guys are next. Good luck. Yeah. Good karma now. Yeah. Yeah, dude. There it is, guys. See ya. See ya. Drano Lake, April 21st, 2023. Gorgeous, fin clipped, hatchery fish. First one in the morning on any boat. Thank God for those guys back there, though, because the fish went right in their line. They spooled their line for me, and freaking, I was just spinning it in circles. And thank God we got all their gear back in. Thanks and a shout out to them because man, I, this fish wouldn't be possible without the community of fishing. And so, just gonna keep working on being better like they were. That's so sick and just help my fishing buddies out. So thank you so much to those guys. And we're gonna bleed this fish out and we're gonna get it in the bottom of the bottom of the kayak because we don't have a cooler. So. All right, guys. So we just bled this fish. What you do is. Every time you catch a Chinook, you want to bleed it instantly so the blood doesn't get into the meat of the fish. And so you just go up under the gills, you either rip them out, take your fillet knife, and follow the gills all the way around so you can bleed this fish out. You don't want to ruin the meat quality. It's a one fish limit up here, and so I'm actually done for the day. And man, oh man, what a freaking day it's been. It's absolutely fucking insane that this happened. I had such a bad day yesterday. Yeah, I mean, everything was going wrong, not one thing went right. And then today, we're out here walking Chinook. I was literally checking the dam count. I was checking the freaking dam count to see. Next thing I know, fish on. We let it hit, 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 and then no set, but got it locked. All right, guys, so we just got back. I do have a scale. Man, the wind is just gusting today. It's actually freaking insane. I'm just gonna show you guys what I caught that fish on really quick, because I didn't get an opportunity to do that on the water. It's pretty chaotic here this morning. Like I said, the wind's gusting like 30 miles an hour off the Columbia right now. So thank God we chose to fish Drano today and just, man, so blessed to be able to be here. I just can't stop saying it because I'm so freaking stoked. So let's get a weight on this thing. It's at zero right now. Twelve point six four pounds. Twelve point six four pounds. This is a twelve point six four pound Columbia River freaking spring Chinook. Thank you, Lord God, for letting me have this freaking opportunity. So sick. Let's go. Okay. It was twenty pounds. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you guys this. I did bleed the fish, so. It was probably 20 pounds, I'm thinking. It was probably 20-ish, 20 25 pounds till I bled it. And all that blood coming out dropped down to 12.64. So 20 pounds Springer, you know, 12.64. <laughs> Let's go. All right, guys. We are getting ready to get off the water now. And I just wanted to go over the setup that we were running today super quick, okay? Pro Troll Flasher, Chrome, with a prawn rig, just like this one right here, using a Max Smiley blade. A lot of people call it moon jelly. I think it's something UV burst. And we just ran it on a millennial uh, prawn rig and just a little Smiley blade like this above five beads and a non-slip mooching rig. And that's how we got on this Chinook today. I just want to thank you guys for tuning into this episode of Walking on Water. I mean, God's good, man. I mean, freaking gonna come down here to the Columbia River and we just get a fish. People are people were awesome. We got complete, utterly tangled in everybody's line. It was a complete mess. And they were patient. And, you know, even though I was the one catching the fish, they were trying to help. And, you know, it's a community out here. And I think the community um, will only get stronger with people like that in it. So thank you to those guys. And again, Pro Troll Flasher, Short Bus Flasher, Addicted Flasher prawn rig with a millennial uh, coon shrimp and a max 1.5 smiley blade. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode of Walking on Water. I'll see you in the next one.